All right, um, freeze uh, destructo discs. Ugh. If you remember, um, uh, what was it? The mini game with chucking the spirit bomb at the projectiles that King Kai was tossing around. It's kind of like that, except Frieza moves a lot, actually. I'm not looking forward to this. This is a rough one. This is. It could be a little bit rough. But I have to stop him. You'll find out why. <laughs> also, remember that time when the when the destructive disc was actually fairly devastating against uh, Frieza. Okay, so you press circle to write the destructive disc, and you have to press it again in order to actually fire. We're actually gonna retry because. It's pretty much like a freebie as soon as the uh, thing starts or not. So it's a combination of you have to uh, find Frieza and actually hit the move. Which, if you're looking at this and you're already disoriented, yeah, you and me both, guys. You and me both. Oh, God. How did. What? Re retrying, I guess. Fuck it. The, the discs themselves have like very little tracking, so it's really fucking tough. Yeah. I'm not sure how many you're supposed to land, actually. Yeah, let's go back to the map. I'm gonna say this is a normal, fuck it. Because, uh. God. Fundamentally, like, I. On paper, this doesn't seem hard, but like. The destructive discs have no tracking and Frieza just changes lanes on a dime. God damn. Uh, you know, it is, it is sad though in hindsight. This is the very last time that the destructive disc would be destructive against a, an enemy of some form. I could just sit here and hold. I think it's more game of also finding him sometimes too. Like, you'll notice he's pretty mobile. And come back, came back into it. Awesome. Where, where did he... Oh, he went down. Oh, I see. Ah. Damn. Okay. Uh... I will not call this form fast. I'm waiting for you to move. Yeah, I thought so. Flat land, at least. I should now at least be able to pass the mission, but god fucking damn. Are you shitting me? Really? Okay. Did I mention this isn't the worst mission in the game? That's probably coming up next, actually. Holy crap. Uh. Please stop moving. God. And if you're wondering, like, why I'm so sluggish with my turning, I'm not. Like, this is literally, like, the fastest you can turn with this. Oh, my God. No. Uh, okay, fuck this. We're going easy. If I had to set this to very easy, I'm going to fucking flip my shit. Because why would I have to play very easy for a mini game and a Dragon Ball Z game? Oh, my God. This should not be something that's pressing me this hard. No, thank you. I'm good. Ugh. Okay. This is easy? Are you shitting me, dude? Okay. Nope. Like, he's doing less vertical shit. He's going mostly side to side, but like... Huh. So what we can surmise from this is that second form Frieza does have Alter Instinct. Wonderful. Oh my god. Fuck this mission. Okay, this should do it. I didn't think that was still gonna be so hard either, but god damn it. Like, just, ugh. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Okay, so we have to get all those discs to land. And you can- Okay, so it looks like the margin of error goes down the higher difficulty you go. And he starts becoming more mobile, so that's terrible. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, that was bullshit. Okay, next up. 
the time that Vegeta actually was managed did manage to take the fight that freezes decently well. I don't think this moment is nearly talked about enough, by the way. At this point in the show, like, base form Frieza, as we know him, first form, you know, at this point we don't know he can transform. Vegeta starts off against him, and they're literally evenly powered, and Vegeta manages to even overpower him a, a little bit. So that's fucking nuts. I don't think it's talked about enough. Like, that's the hugest fighting moment of the show, because Frieza is built up as, like, a borderline demigod. So the fact that he can actually match Frieza that well is so fucking sick. Okay, uh, let's go full force power. Screw it. I'm gonna be insane. A review of my footage, like, yeah, Frieza's strings are long, and, like, they can be intimidating, but I don't think they're actually that scary. Especially with this form. Holy fuck. Three, three bars, tiny limbs. They should theoretically be pretty easy. Theoretically, anyway. Plus the fact that I'm not holding back at all. Really, I chose Zudu Gulti, and he's still got only that many life bars. Uh, uh. Yeah, now everyone's gonna fucking flinch each other. It's hilarious. That's gonna land. I'm gonna take it. Wait, what? How much? How much bar do you have when you teleport? That what the fuck? Oof. Okay. And remember, always remember to tech whenever you possibly can in this game because that will allow you to not have to eat nearly as much damage. That's a that's a stun. Oof. Oh, that's near death right there. Hell yeah. I should mention, unfortunately, that third form Frieza has kind of lost that finger blitz barrage he had in the prior game. Because remember that, I'll, okay, maybe I should have mentioned that now, actually. A lot of ultimates are actually just completely gone if they're not relegated to, um, real-time supers. Like, remember fi how Final Flash itself was actually tethered to, uh, the, the end of Vegeta's, uh, Dragon Rush? Remember how fucking sick that was? Well, Vegeta doesn't have Final Flash anymore unless you're using GT Vegeta. And that's, like, not even, like, a, yeah, it's not an ultimate. It's so fucking sad. I will say, Dragon Rushes, as much as I hate them on a gameplay level, they were very nice to look at. If they moved... Oh, I never talked about that, did I? No, I, I think I mentioned that maybe in the uh, retrospect. But there was some demo footage actually dug up for early builds of Budokai 3. I think it, they were, it was just a betas. I think it was like... I think it was only Goku and Broly are playable, which is really weird. And Broly starts off legendary. So, you know, he may as well. Considering his basic portrait in this game is just legendary, even though you start off in base form, it's super weird. I don't, I never understood that. Oh fuck me. But like apparently back then, um, Dragon Rush moved a lot faster, which is actually really nice. I wish they kept that speed. I think that was shown to me by who showed that to me. Um, wasn't Togra, wasn't Prindy. I don't think it was Curtis. One of my subscribers showed it to me, it was really cool, but it, I was just like, God damn, this looks really nice. I wish they kept shit like this. On top of the simpler graphics, actually making the game look pretty nice, so... Eh, yeah. Oh, oh wait, what's the deal for this one? Clear mission by reducing the opponent's health to zero. Second form Frieza! Nah, nah, we're not, we're not doing that. I mean, granted, this is not like another filler mission, this is real, but just, God damn, you want me to do that? I don't think so, buddy. No, thank you. Also, it's just good to take me in with full power consecutive key blasts, which I mean, yeah, I get it, but damn, dude. Uh, eh. yeah, I should. Hard or very hard? Uh, hard. That limb reach versus Gohan's tiny fucking jabs? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. We're not doing that. Also, Kid Gohan, like, as if he wasn't bad enough already. He just feels neutered in this fucking game. Oh my god. Oh wow. Luckily, that's an easy punish. Or well, it would be if I managed to land it. Use the plus frames to land that. 
cool. Punish. There we go. Oh, God. But, like, the timing for going for the, um, kick combo into, like, your jabs is so t strict and tight. My God. Oh, fuck. I thought I was playing Fire for a second. I tapped up to jump. That's not something I can do in this game. I know you want. I know you want to throw me. I know why. I know you want to throw me. You're not throwing me. Oh my god! Why aren't you throwing me? Okay. I need a way for him to do something stupid. Come on. There we. Go. I'm transformed. How much key do I need? Oh, wait, what? <laughs> this always happens with this godforsaken game. How many do I need? Four. But I was definitely about four. Ah, well, I'll wait for it to wear off and just power up again. At least the track's downwards. Okay. Small whiff. It's coming. Oh, wow. Oh my god, he kids, you counter out of the way. Are you kidding me? Jesus. This is literally what it's like playing as like Z Broly against Go Tanks or Kid Bo <laughs> Kid Goku in fighters. It's kind of obnoxious, actually. Oh, I need to transform. That would help my cause. What? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Did one of the hitboxes of the of the volley actually hit him from behind me? Okay, um, right. All right, well, I guess also shout outs to the time that even right after uh, Frieza transformed, his power level was over 1 million. Gohan still managed to completely fuck him up. That was really nice. That was good shit. Uh, Piccolo. Oh, fuck. I'm going to make literal use of special beam can. Just, just so you're aware of that fact. So I've been thinking about it more and more. Like, why is it that... S2J, and I think at least a few other people regard Piccolo as suddenly like really bad in this game. I was, I was, okay. So I was trying to find combo routes with Piccolo, and I realized that wow, almost all of them are gone. Like, 4PK is gone, even the neutral K combo is kind of weird. L the forward punches are gone as well, like the one Piccolo, uh, Cell has. So I'm just like, Jesus Christ, he has like no combo game anymore. At least nothing that I couldn't find. He might have one somewhere. That maybe someone's documented, but I doubt it. Did I guard that? No, I didn't. Hey, neat. He did that in the middle of combat. Sweet. Wait. I can go higher, right? What am I at right now? I have four. Do I have four? I think I have four. Oh, five to go Kami. Okay. I thought you just need four for that or something. Um, maybe I'm remembering it for someone else. Wow, Death Wave has like no damage now. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. Okay. Now, the cool one cool thing that Pickle does have is that he has a guard crush attached to his four punch string, which is kind of cool. But, like, goddamn, dude. Lightning fucking fast. You can even combo it. Oh, it's so nice. That's like the one thing that keeps Pickle from being like one of the worst characters in the game, I think. How absurdly usable Special Beam Can is. Oh, it's so nice. Which is ironic because in a lot of other games, like you've seen me play, Special Beam Can is usually relegated as like one of the slower charge moves you have access to, and even then it kind of sucks. So I'm just like, wow, it's amazing that it's actually kind of good now. Hell yeah. Alright. Also, I, I've come to real couldn't realize and accept the fact that. The reason I'm probably not talking about story too much in this game right now is because A, it's so obscenely hard, and B, it literally retreads the exact same ground that Budokai 3 did. And also C, uh, it's not presenting much story, so it's not much for me to talk about. I haven't really come to grips with that fact. Okay. This is the worst mission in the game. And I have a few reasons for that. It's because you have to keep landing hits on Piccolo, and um, he's very, very nimble. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, that wouldn't be so, ba so bad, except for the fact that it's so hard to even pin him down, so... 
Yeah, all it's having to choose easy for this one so you can see how hard it still is. And like you see me do, it's not like I'm a pushover with these mini games either. You see me do that one button prompt mini game with Goku on Z difficulty. Anyway, this kind of sucks. It's basically that the finger bliss broad used against Piccolo but turned into a mini game. Oh god. Okay, he's very nimble. So you have to keep landing this on him, and like you can combo him if you land deep enough. But like he does not stop fucking moving. You have to like almost intercept one of his uh, approaches, because like the trick is like you obviously you turn much slower when um, you're firing, right? So you can't just keep spamming it. But conversely, like it's also impossible like gauge which direction Pickle's gonna turn. So you gotta like kind of read it, but. It, it's not nearly enough information to go off of with doing it. That would have landed if not for the fact that I was a little bit off. And normal, by the way. Please let me turn. Look at this. He's even going right over me sometimes. I'm not landing. Oh, wait. And I can already smell some of your comments about dodge. Haha, <laughs> funny. Oh, almost got it. You can not actually like fully combo him with this funny enough. Like it, you can do it. I almost do want to show it off. Like he gets really fucked up. God, this is... Ugh. <laughs> Look at that. We're the exact same speed as long as I'm not firing. What the hell? Y yeah, just keep going in a straight line like that. That's that's perfect. Let me change the direction. There we go. He can eventually drop out of the combo from that, but like it's it is kind of neat. What do you do land it? F fuck. Normal difficulty. Normal. Yeah. Um, fuck that. There's no real steering with the icon. It just kind of sucks. So. Yeah. I'm good. No, thank you. Anyways, last one. Fort Dynamic Saga. Thank, thank God. Okay. And at the end, it's all over again. Yes, please, Dragon Ball Z game. Let me do the thing I paid money for. Yes, actual money. I do own this game. Which is combat and not your stupid fucking mini games. Oh my god, why? Let's go Heavy Blow again. I can do some shit with Heavy Blow, so it's not horrible. Oh man. And also, not one new cutscene available if you do uh, the side missions for. Oh god, not even Sand Saga. There wasn't anything there. Okay. Oh, he is going for a punch with that one. I should probably mention that at some point. There are restand aspects to, like, combos in this game. There we go. Yeah, let's go easy. Or you can teleport out of it easily. Uh. So there was a gap in there. I literally couldn't do f fucking do anything. I thought... <laughs> I thought Transform would give me the iframes to let the death ball animation phase through me, but I guess it didn't. And then I was trying to flash card, but that didn't work either, so... I mean, it's still a start of mission. You've already seen that before. What? Oh. Need a whole guard. Time to backdash. God, he's going to hammer those buttons. It's ironically kind of sad, though, that I think Frieza is much better in this game than he is in Fires right now. Because he doesn't function for what he's trying to do in Fires. Fires, he's trying to be an actual zoning character with some marginal close up options. Oh, I was got the meaty. That's gonna land. Okay. 
Ah, I keep dropping that. Ooh, there's a gap in there. Okay. Oh, no. There was a gap because he flat he uh, parried, right? The buffer system was what's fucking me up there, by the way. Damn. I need I need to forego that part of my combo and just go for the regular shit. Ooh, shit, nice. And we can loop. <laughs> I thought I input energy twice, but I guess I was fucking wrong. Oops. I didn't have to go all the way down. I was like, I want to get a full combo on him. Nah, now nah, you don't need to. Okay, sure. 